So as I said, we're still with module number one, Introduction to Financial Management. Last meeting, uh, I'd like to apologize guys kasi yung sinend ko sa inyo na PDF file, no? uh, it didn't actually record yung sinulat ko. Okay, so when I tried to save it, hindi na siya save eh kung if, it's in, if I'm trying to save it sa PDF, it does not record. So I think uh, what I'm going to do is any notes, I just write it in Word, you know, just some bare notes here in PowerPoint. Okay, so we were discussing last time the main objective of, uh, of any business and we said that it should not be profit maximization, neither should it be cost minimization or customer satisfaction. They, these are all important objectives, but not necessarily the main objective. We said that the main objective should be the maximization of shareholder value, okay, or the maximization of uh, the stock price of the uh, firm. Okay, so we said that there are in, inherent advantages in maximizing profit or satisfying, uh, and particularly satisfying customers. There are inherent uh, advantage, advantages of that in customer satisfaction. Dali lang guys. Dali lang ah. Sorry ah. Okay, sorry guys for the interruption. As I said guys, important in customer satisfaction kasi ang mga customers nagbibigay ng repeat uh, purchases yan. And they're the least sensitive to to uh, changes in prices. No? Tapos sabi natin, uh, they, they give free advert advertising through word of mouth and then we can do cross-selling with them. Uh, satisfied customers provide growth to the organization and of course profits and this of course enhances the uh, corporate performance okay but sabi natin guys there are uh, it's important that we look at uh, why it should be wealth maximization or shareholder value maximization and not profit maximization so we said we said uh, last time that ang, ang management, uh, guys, sandali, uh, sorry, sorry, may, may konting, ano lang, may konting concern lang dito. Eh. Okay, again, sorry guys, no? Okay, sabi natin guys, pag profit maximization, minsan nagiging myopic yung pananaw, no? Sa, sa concerns ng business. In fact, uh, for profit maximization, there's a tendency or there's a great temptation to cut back on uh, discretionary expenditures. No? Tapos usually, ito yung mga uh, expenditures that, that will benefit the company for the long term. Eh, kasi ang nagiging objective, just uh, to be able to really improve the bottom line. So para ma-improve yung bottom line, cut back ng mga expenses, cut back, cut back, cut back, not realizing that by doing so, it, it puts into peril yung, ano, yung, yung uh, future performance ng organization. No? Okay. So aside from that, sabi natin, ang, ang problema niyan dun sa planning duration, sa risk management, we took a look at an example where we uh, we assumed that we were uh, using oil no tapos importante yung hedging to to cushion a company against possible uh, possible uh, impact of uh, fluctuation in prices uh, clarify ko lang guys bakit chat nga kung yes kung na discuss ba natin yun yung nag example ba ako ng ano uh, sorry ah medyo okay okay good kasi baka baka hindi natin na discuss na so, ang sinasabi natin, wealth maximization uh, considers also yung risk. 
as against profit maximization. Risk mitigation is very important as far as the company is concerned. Tapos, ano pa? Sabi natin na uh, uh, isang, isang uh, weakness ng profit maximization is that uh, it doesn't matter na basta maka ano lang sa current operating period maitaas natin yung sales natin maitaas yung ano yung yung profitability natin yung margin natin even if uh, even if uh, hindi maganda yung even if the the long term effect could be not good no sabi natin pag wealth maximization this is more we're willing to take in lower profits lower profits kahit na uh, basta for as long as yung market share na dadagdagan no? so that's what we also look at and capacity planning sabi natin kasi kasi syempre pag capacity planning may investment yan sa infrastructure may investment sa equipment so kung hindi papansin niyan uh, kasi nga sasabihin na ay gastos lang yan well the uh, result of that could be uh, lost potential revenues in the future kunyari yung market tumataas tapos hindi na prepare yung company for that eh paano na lang kung magboom yung market later on if the company has revisited that, revisited that scenario okay, by doing research and also by investing in equipment, then when that opportunity comes, okay, when that potential expansion of the market comes, then the company will be able to exploit that opportunity. As against, pag uh, ang focus na talagang profit maximization lang na, na hindi masyadong titinan yung, ano, yung, yung other investments that might be uh, needed in the future okay so now tanong ko lang guys did we discuss yung triple bottom line pakichat nga kung na discuss natin triple bottom line i just want to make sure ah okay good good okay so let's let's do that no? i discuss muna natin tong triple bottom line okay i will i would rather guys Dito ako mag-aano sa word, ha? Kasi, o kaya dito na lang sa ano. Dito na lang sa whiteboard. Ha? Okay. Just a moment, guys. Ha? While whiteboard engages. Okay, so uh, while we're waiting for Microsoft Whiteboard, my question ako guys, ang isang organization, ang isang company, it does not exist in a vacuum. There are other entities, there are other uh, uh, bodies or corporations even that are very well interested in the well-being of that organization. Ang question ko, ano-ano yung mga, yan, ano-ano yung mga, uh, organization yun. Okay. Oops. Sorry. And then you dito. Okay. So, my question is, what are So if this is the firm, this is the company. What do you think are entities or companies or individuals or forces or factors that are interested in the well-being of the organization? Sino sino tomato? Can you give me an example? Paki an talaga. Okay. Uh, Liam, the banks. Okay. Can you explain? Kung bakit yung banks, they're so much interested in the well-being of the organization. Bakit importante? Yes, Liam. Thank you. It's because they are the ones where the firm gets its loans and yeah. they lend. Money. Yes, correct. No, tama. So, tawagin natin silang banks or other, uh, let's call these other institutions that lend, let's call them creditors, no? Let's generally call them creditors. 
of course, creditors are interested in the well-being of the firm. Liam, bakit ba? Ano ba makukuha ng creditors sa firm? Um, uh, interest po. Yan, oh, Payment of the... Siyempre, di ba, pag yung creditors natin, binabayaran natin ng interest yun. And of course, ano pa? At the end of the period, yung term ng debt. No? Ano yung, ano yung in-expect ng creditors makuha from the company? Letter P? Ano kaya to? And one guys, kunyari nang utang tayo ng 100 million. No? So every yearly yan, magbibay tayo ng interest depende dun sa agreement. Tapos at the end of the period, ano yung, yes? Profit po. Profit. Yung profit, yun yung interest. No? Yung profit ng creditor, yun yung interest. Ano kaya itong letter P na to? Any other guess? Principal po. Yes, correct. No? So it's the principal. Ay, hindi siya na erase na. Okay. Anyway. So it's the principal, no? Oops. Principal. Yan. So yung dalawang to, guys, no? Of course, mababayaran lang yung ng firm if uh, they are performing well, no? If their corporate performance is uh, is uh, very good, no? So makakabayad ng interest payments yan. Kung medyo naghihikahos na yung company na yan, hindi mag, magdi-default yan sa interest payments. And that's not a good sign kasi pag nag-default nag sa interest payments, chances are magdi-default din yun sa principal. Okay? So thank you, Liam. This is correct, no? Creditors are uh, are very keen on seeing the company succeed. Okay? Uh, by the way, this is in the context of sinasabi natin na a main objective should be shareholder value maximization. No? Shareholder value maximization. Kasi ang sabi ng iba, bakit shareholder value lang? Hindi ba may ibang parties na, uh, na concerned din dun sa business? Kaya sabi ni nga ni Liam, creditors, sino pa? Any other examples guys? Paki-unmute na lang. Any other party that's interested in the well-being of the organization? Customers. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Customers, no? Si customers. Bakit kaya? Bakit kaya si customers, ano, very concerned siya dun sa, ano, dun sa, dun sa well-being, sa performance ng, ano, ng organization. Uh, who, who answered? Hello po. Elijah. You know? Elijah. Sige, Elijah. Elijah, could you elaborate, please? Kasi po, customers po rely on ano, different companies as a source of services and products po for their ano, everyday yeah. life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you give an example of a company where customers would really want that the that the service that this company provides is very, very good, very excellent? Um, one example po, probably is ano po, Cardinia po, bread. Cardinia, Kasi, okay. Parang pong taong ano, kumakain ng bread po, araw-araw. Yeah. Staple sa Philippines yung ano, ano, yung bread, no? Usually either breakfast, or for some, it's uh, merienda, basta mahilig tayo sa bread. <laughs> And syempre, as customers, uh, so as, uh, Uh, as customers, importante na they are provided the best and healthy or hygienic products. Diba? Imagine kung bumili ka ng gardenia at may nakita kang ang daga no? dun sa loob ng, ng loaf of bread. Di ba? Parang recent na example ng Jollibee, di ba? Yung tuwalya. No? So, di ba? I, I don't, siyempre mayayaki ka nun, di ba? Imagine kung hindi kung hindi at par dun sa global standards yung hygienic uh, practices yung ng gardenia. Uh, pag nangyari yung guys, tiyak yan definitely. Uh, Mag-hemorrhage ang sales yan the following day. Kung mapalitaan yan sa social media, ang bilis-bilis pa naman ano. People will think twice muna, teka muna. Uh, sa ang batch ng paggawa ng bread dry, eh kahit na nga, kahit na, ay sabi ng gardenia, ay hindi na yung daga na yan, yung sa nagawa yan nung last Monday. Will you buy, guys? 
kayo, pakichat nga kung bibili kayo, kahit sa binigardin niya, kunyari, uh, yung nakita namin yung rat pala yun, na, <laughs> nung, yung batch nung Monday, hindi nung Tuesday. Pakichat nga guys, kung bibili kayo, will you? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure guys, pare-pareho lang tayo. Ako hindi rin ako bibili. No? <laughs> Sigurado ka dyan ha, pag magbibigay sila ng extra. <laughs> Are you sure, John? Magbibigay ng isang... Pag, ano po? Pag magbibigay sila ng extra bread. Isang sige. piraso? Uh, isang extra loaf po. <laughs> Sinabi mo yan ha? Baka... <laughs> Anyway, I'm sure for what uh, we will have our reasons not to not to pat patronize the product. Siguro mag-o-olsen muna tayo. O siguro ano pa ba 'yung mga ano? Ano pa ba 'yung mga uh, mga bread products na nasa ano, 'yung fu Fujiwara, Fujiwara ba 'yun, 'yung Japanese ano? Okay, 'yung very soft bread. Okay. Anyway, so customers guys, I'm sure they would want the company to give excellent service. Excellent products kasi affected tayo. O take the case of telecommunications. Imagine a world guys na wala na tayong ano, wala na tayong uh, line, wala na tayong ano, wala nang wifi, wala nang ISP, nang, wala nang globe, walang, walang smart, walang ano, walang dito. Oh, I can just imagine guys, hindi tayo makakapagklase dito. No? Kung walang provider ng internet, diba? and we want the cap customers always to be to have good excellent service we want smart to be successful sa kanilang pagbibigay ng ano we want globe to be like that also we want dito to be like that we want sky cable if sky yung ginagamit nyo to be like that guys because customers have a stake no? we're willing to support these companies we're willing to become loyal loyal customers to them we're willing to become uh, keep on renewing our contract with them no? For as long as they provide us good service. So, tama yun. Tama. Importante ito na si customers, guys, may stake siya dito sa, ano, sa, sa gusto niya makikita yung firm na successful. Okay. Sino pa, guys? Sino pang other party? Na, Hello? Yes? Um, government agencies po. Gover Sino to? Let me acknowledge you. Sorry. I'm Ingrid po. Ingrid, yan. Ingrid, thank you. Tama si Ingrid, no? Alam mo, ano pa pala ito? May mga, ang tawag dito? Rainbow color. Hmm? Government agencies. Bakit, Ingrid? Can you explain? Um, government, government agencies. Oh, um, government agencies so, such as Bureau of Internal Revenue. They're mm -hmm. mainly responsible for with um, checking if the specific firm is um, abiding by the regulations of the government. Yeah. Mm -hmm. tax so. Correct. No? Correct. Eh, lalo ngayon, guys, itong ano ngayon, yung uh, itong pandemic natin. Saan kinuha ng government yung mga panggasos ng ano ng free vaccines yung pang ano pang pantawid uh, pamilya program saan kinuha yun kinuha yun sa mga taxes guys taxes saan individuals and also corporate tax no so yung yung government would want the uh, firms to be successful kasi syempre revenue generator nila yun eh di ba And also, because of the economy. Kung robust yung mga companies, if they, they are performing well, if they're doing good, then they can employ more, more people. And if they're able to employ more people, parang ano yan, parang cycle yan, ano? Cycle. If they're able to employ more people, then mas marami silang tax makukuha from income tax, individual tax ng mga tao. If the firm is able to generate more revenues, mas maraming red tax ang makukuha ng government dun sa corporate income tax. So, ano guys, maraming, ano, maraming implications yan sa government kung nagbabankrupt yung mga... They, government does not want companies to be bankrupt. Government wants, kasi minimeasure din yung performance ng government sa GDP, GNP, and they want uh, more employment, they want more products and services generated by firms and individuals kasi it's a function of GNP, GDP, no? which is a measure of the robustness of the economy. So, kapag ganun, guys, it, it uh, also for political reasons, no? if it reflects well on the government, then kung sino man yung, kunyari, incumbent, mas, mas magiging malakas 
na uh, yung kasunod niya, yung succession niya in the next, for example, election will be voted. Ganun, may, may mga political, ano din yun, may mga political implications. So, government in general would want firms to succeed. Okay? Okay, that's good. So, next example. Sino pa, guys? Other examples of uh, institutions or or parties <clears throat> that are interested in the well-being of the organization. Sino pa kaya, guys? Marami pa to. Sino pa? Anyone? Anyone, guys? Hello, pa. Yes, who's this? Uh, uh, Paredes po, Gabriel. Gab, see, Gab. Thank you, Gab. What's um, your... Suppliers po. Oh, yes, yeah. Tamang-tama ito, suppliers. Kasi may gusto ko ikwento about suppliers, no? Suppliers, guys, are well interested in the well-being of the organization. Diba? Kasi kung umuo kayong firm, guys, syempre, oh, it will reflect back on the suppliers. Pag bumagsak yung firm na yan, bagsak din sila. Okay? And this was really, ano, yung suppliers side, guys, uh, naging very, very prominent siya nung, nung 80s, 90s, no? Have you, heard, have, have you heard of the term TQM? Narinig nyo na ba ito? TQM. Okay, let me discuss this kasi na-discuss ko rin sa kabilang class to, no? Na, narinig nyo na ba itong TQM, guys? Ever heard of this? Anyone? TQM. Means? Anyone? What's T here? Hello, sir. Yes, okay. Sino ito? Um, uh, si Gabriel pa rin po. Gab, sige Gab. Um, I believe it stands for Total mm -hmm. Quality Management. Yeah, tama. Thank you, Gab. You're correct, no? Total Quality Management. Yan ang ibig sabihin yan, no? And <clears throat> pag pinapag-usapan yung TQM, naging ano yan, guys, eh? naging buzzword talaga yung 1980s, no? Uh, college ako noon, so talagang pinag-uusapan yan. Talagang, ano, talagang uh, hot topic talaga yung TQM na yan, no? And if there's, if, if we talk of TQM, may isang company na talagang bukod tangi dyan. Would you know sino kaya yung bukod tangi company na yan? Uh, it is TMC. Sino kaya itong TMC na to? NGO, TMC. It's Manufacturing Corporation. Sino kaya ito guys? Japanese firm. Well-known Japanese firm. Toyota po. Yes, Toyota. No? Pag sinabi guys na TQM, ah, Toyota yan. No? <clears throat> Bakit naman Toyota guys? Well, ang ganda pag-aralan guys ng, ano, ng, ng business model ni Toyota. Ang pinakakalaban nyo nun guys, yan, nyari, American companies, ano, sila Ford, sila GM, sila Chrysler, and Chrysler, tapos, uh, I'm not sure, uh, double L yet. And uh, some of the European, ano, the European companies like Mercedes-Benz, okay? Ito yung mga kalaban ni Toyota nun. Pero, Toyota came up with a business model na ibang-iba. Kasi itong mga American companies ito, they were practicing what we call the push system. Ano yung push system? So, kunyari, si Ford, may mga kailangan siyang raw materials. Ang gagawin nila, canvas, magka-canvas siya. Sabi niya, okay, kailangan namin ng 1 million. Sige nga, mag-bid kayo. Bidding kayo, survival of the fittest yan. Pababaan ng price ng, ano, ng, ng mga suppliers. Kasi gusto nilang, ano, gusto nilang maging ka-business si Ford. Okay? Pero si Ford, couldn't care less, could, couldn't care less, basta tama yung quality mo at saka lowest price. Ganun yung, ano, ganun yung business model ni Ford, ni GM, ni Chrysler. Pero si Toyota, kakaiba, no? Kakaiba. Ang ginawa ni Toyota, yes, i-drawing ko lang dito, ha? So, if this is Toyota, no? Toyota Motor Corporation, ang ginawa niya, in-encourage siya yung mga suppliers niya to locate 
locate near Toyota. Tinulungan ni Toyota na yung mga suppliers niya. Okay? So, hindi siya maraming suppliers, no? Hindi siya nagbibidding. Ang ginawa niya yung pool system. Pool. Ano yung pool system? Parang hihilahan tayo, no? Hihilahin ko kayo, okay? Pag nahihirapan kayo, I'll be there to support you. So, it tried to establish very good relationship with the suppliers. Yun ang kaiba nito, no? Ito yung American system, yung push system. Ito yung Japanese system, yung TQM system, yung pool system. That's why, ano nangyari? Ano net effect nito? Notice dito guys na ito, hindi ni Toyota kailangan ng malalaking warehouse. Samantalang si Ford, si GM, si Chrysler, isang common na ano nila, common denominator, ang lalaki ng, ano, ng mga warehouses nila. Okay. Sa so, tingin nyo guys, bakit kailangan ni Ford, ni GM, ni Chrysler ng malalaking warehouse? Kasi, bibili sila ng maraming, ano, maraming parts tapos dun, dun nila i-store sa warehouse nila. Kasi they were, they were operating under JIC, JIC system, c 2 c Versus this is what we call the JIT system. Okay. Ano kaya? Ano itong JIT? Any guess? Very interesting guys yung model ni Toyota noong 1980s. Ako grabe. Ang daming mga books na sinulat about that. One book is The Machine That Changed the World. No? And that, that machine was Toyota. No? Kung paano binago ni Toyota yung how operations, how businesses uh, would operate. Any guess guys kung ano yung JIT? Okay, pwede ay unmute guys. JIT is yan. Tama. Thank you Elijah. No? Yan. Sabi ni Elijah, just in case versus just in time. Okay, tingnan natin business philosophy. Ah. Anong kaibahan? Si Toyota, so nakipag-deal siya, nakipag-coordinate siya, nakipag-partner siya with the, ano, with the suppliers. Tapos they were located very near Toyota. So ang nangyari, hindi nagme-maintain si Toyota ng inventory. Okay? Hindi siya nagme-maintain ng inventory. It's the suppliers who do that for him, for her, no? for Toyota. So kunyari kailangan ni Toyota ng 1 million parts nitong <clears throat> part A na to. So meron silang tinatawag na JIT, just in time. So magpapadeliver si Toyota nun and dadating siya just on time. Makailangan ni Toyota yun. Okay, si Chrysler naman, si GMC Ford, just in case. So hala, order ng maraming parts sa to, order ng maraming parts na yan. Kasi just in case kailangan natin yan, andi dyan siya sa warehouse natin. Okay, so hulaan nyo guys, sino, sino sa tingin nyo ang mas naging efficient sa, why, sa use ng resources? Sino? Si Toyota o si Ford? Sino sa tingin nyo yung mas naging efficient sa management na resources? Of course, guys. Di ba? It's stating the obvious. Thank you, Liam. Thank you, Elijah. Toyota. No? Toyota, imagine natanggal sa kanila yung cost ng maintaining warehouse. Okay, ano yung mga cost ng maintaining warehouse, guys? Wala. Andiyan dyan yung, andiyan yung ordering cost. Andiyan yung holding cost. Di ba? Okay, and other warehousing cost. Wala, napakalaki nito, guys. And that accounts for a huge chunk of the cost of, uh, of inventory. Eh na ano ni Toyota yun, natanggal niya. And that's, that's how Toyota was also able to penetrate the American market. Kasi nakapagbigay siya ng quality na product. Uh, ang daming studies siya dati guys, no 1980s. Kunyari, sa isang ano, sa isang uh, sa isang Ford na product, no? Binilang nila ko ilan yung yung defects sa isang product paglalabas, no? maabot ng 200 to 300 defects. Sa Toyota, guys, sa Toyota, ilan? Ilan, guys? Would you know? Napaka-minimal, napaka-liit. No? And tapos, they were able to complete a car in, uh, nakalimutan ko yung details, no? but in just a few days. Samantalang ito, guys, months. So, kapag na, na, si Ford, si GM, si Chrysler, makikipag-complete kay Toyota, Eh, si Toyota, in a few days, tapos yung kotse. Si Ford, si GM, si Chrysler, Chrysler ilang buwan muna. Oh, how, how, how will you be able to compute, guys, with that? Diba? So this is one example where, an example to a very good relationship between suppliers at saka yung firm. No? And that was championed by Toyota itself. Nung inano niya, dinevelop niya yung TQM. At yung mga concepts ng JIT. 
and dyan din yung concept. Siguro it, it will be good for you also to look at these concepts, kunyari yung 5S. Kasi nga, tingnan nyo guys, ito, internet nyo nga. Kasi hindi na napag-uusapan ngayon yan eh. Kasi parang hindi na siya, hindi na siya masyadong ano. Although importante pa rin yan, pero hindi na siya parang, uh, ano, parang, parang given na siya na kailangan gagawin. So what's 5S guys? Okay, pakicheck nga. Si Toyota din nagsimula niyan. 5S. 5S sa manufacturing. <clears throat> Any answer, guys? Yes? Okay. Unmute na lang yourself. Yan. Okay. Yan. Thank you, Liam. Okay. And yung 5S, ano? Seiri, Seiton, Seiso, Seiketsu, Shitsuke. Sa English, uh, sort, set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain. Japanese concept yan, guys. A place for everything and everything in its place. Kaya kung ikukumpay mo yung workshop, guys, ng Toyota compared to Ford. Uh, imagine, guys, pwede kang mag-roll over sa floor ng production line ng Toyota. No? E di ba, normally, pag-iisipin mo, punong-puno ng grasa, Punong-puno ng dumi, but not in a Toyota workplace. Pwede kang magpagulong-gulong dun. Kasi they follow the 5S principle. A place for everything and everything in its place. Ilagay ko yun ha. Okay, so a place. Sorry for my handwriting. For everything and everything. Everything in its place. Yan. Ang gandang, ang gandang, guys, tagline, ano? A place for everything and everything in its place. So, makikita mo, guys, yung the way they do things, no? Yung standardization. No? Yung sorting things, making very cleanliness, yung cleanliness, wow. Wow. Uh, uh, I was able to view so many videos about this practice. <laughs> Tapos naging, ano, naging, Sinunod na rin ito ng American, American way. Pero makikita mo yan yung, uh, it, I think it emanates from the culture of the Japanese. Ang napakalinis, di ba? Napaka ano ng, yung city planning nila. Napakaganda, napakaayos. Okay, so, okay, so I hope uh, that this encourages you to, uh, panood kay guys ang videos no? na, na about this kasi you'll learn a lot really. Okay, sana tayo, management. Okay, let's go to the next one, guys. So, so far, we have identified creditors, customers, government agencies, suppliers. Sino pa, guys? Sino pa? Sino pang parties ang interested sa well-being ng organization? Anyone? Hello po. Yes? Um, mga investors po. Investors. Okay, who's this? This is Julian po. Julian, thank you Julian ha. Ah, tama si Julian, investors. Yung investors, i-break down na lang natin. Na-mention na natin si isang investor, no? Si, dal bali dalawang investors natin dito. Investors. Una, si creditor. Pangalawa, Julian, sino kayang pangalawa? Sorry po, ano ulit? Ah, ah, investors it can, can come in the form of two major parties. Either creditor siya or sino isa? Um, I'm not sure po. Sorry. Uh, yung uh, clue no? sa equation na assets is equal to liabilities plus equity. Ito yung um, mga investors natin. Yung isa na mention na kanina, creditor, sino to? The owner po. Owners, di ba? Shareholders. Mga investors din yan. Okay? Guys, ha? yung investors natin, generally, dalawa yan. Creditors or shareholders no so tingnan natin ha kung sino may nag uh, offer na answer yes thank you ingrid thank you elijah you're, you're correct no mga in shareholders sila no so ang investors creditors or shareholders okay so si shareholders alam natin na bakit nagii-invest si shareholder anong ano ano yung motivation nila kung si creditors interest at saka si principal si shareholders naman ano what is the motivation for shareholders? Why why would they want to invest in the firm? Yes. Okay, unmute na lang sana, guys. Kung pwede. Okay, increase the value, Elijah. Okay, thank you. Uh, Petrin, 
profit. Okay, let's be more specific, no? Okay, uh, balikan natin yung sinabi ni Elijah, yung increase the value of the investment. Bibigyan natin isang special name yan, no? Yung sinabi naman ni Petrin, profit. <clears throat> profit, there's a name for that, guys. Yes, shareholders profit from their investments in a firm. But there's a special name for that. Ang tawag natin doon, D. Ano yung D na yun? What's that D? Equity, yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Benjamin. Thank you, Trisha. It's called dividends. No? So, si shareholder, they stand to benefit from the from their investments through dividends. <clears throat> okay. So, ako, example ko guys, nag-invest ako dati sa Jollibee, sa San Miguel, sa, sa also sa Sun Life, sa Manulife, sa mga banks. No? And I would get regularly dividends from them. So may mga dividends, especially yung mga, ano, yung mga, uh, yung mga blue chip companies, no? nagbibigay sila ng dividends. Kasi bakit sila nakakapagbigay ng dividends? Kasi talaga na-optimize sila yung profit. Ibig sabihin may excess profit sila. Sufficient yung earnings sila para, para sa mga bagong projects. Okay, so meron pa silang sufficient cash para ibalik sa mga shareholders in the form of dividends. No? Okay, the second primary reason and the more important one, guys, kung bakit uh, why shareholders are willing to part with their money to a firm is because of sabi kanina ni ano, uh, si Amin sabi, sorry, ayun, si Elijah sabi niya, increase the value of the investment. May tawag sa ganyan. Okay, ang tawag natin dyan is C A. Ano ibig sabihin ng CA, guys? Anyone? CA? Any guess? Okay, C is C is una muna C is, ano kaya yung C? C is C may, may sumagot, let me see Okay, thank you Elijah You're correct, <clears throat> capital no? Capital So related to increasing the value of the investment This is capital, so capital what? Capital ano? Related to increasing the value of the investment So that's capital Capital Ano A Capital asset. Uh, thank you, Ingrid, for the answer. Pero hindi siya, hindi siya asset. Eh. Uh, it means increase. So ano kaya yun? Yes, thank you, Benjamin. It's capital appreciation. Yan yun, yun, guys. Ito yung pinaka-importante sa isang investor, sa isang shareholder. Okay, kunyari, nag-invest ka sa Jollibee years ago. 20 pesos per share. Eh, two years ago, nag-ano nag, siya, kung, kung apalo siya ng 300 plus. Diba? So, that's more important than the dividends. Grabe yung, ano, grab, grabe yung, yung, yung appreciation ng value ng asset mo. Yung in-invest mo sa stocks. And that's, uh, that's a uh, higher revenue, higher return. In, in, uh, in as far as the uh, investor is concerned. Okay? Hindi mo makikitain yan, sa, guys, sa banko. Okay? Mag, uh, ano ka, mag, uh, magtiis ka dun sa uh, 1% per annum tapos may ano pa yon may may 1% sabi natin 2% tapos may tax pay na 20% so 1.6% eh, sabi nga natin inflation 5% wala bagsak yung ano mo yung that's why guys it's not good to just put your money in the bank <coughs> Mag, ang pang emergency purpose so yan but if you have excess funds do not put it in the bank kasi wala mangyayari you either eh, yung mga banks meron na naman sila mga mga instruments, mga uh, other form of investments like UITF, you can ask the bank about it. No? So instead of just putting it in a savings account, ipasok mo siya sa UITF, Unit Investment Trust Fund, which is similar to a, <coughs> uh, similar to a mutual fund. A mutual fund, <coughs> para ipupul yung pera, tapos may money manager na ilalagay siya sa mga stocks. <coughs> so parang malaking investor ka na rin. Okay, 
So pag banko naman, yung mutual fund, ang tawag doon, UITF. <coughs> okay, so uh, we said that uh, these are shareholders, syempre. They're very much interested in the well-being of the organization. Okay, sino pa, guys? Sino pa? Can we name other... other <coughs> Hi, sir. Yes. Uh, employees po. Employees. Sino to, guys? Sino to? Si Jan po. Jan, thank you, Jan. <coughs> employees, no? Tama si Jan. <coughs> so let's write that. <coughs> employees. <coughs> Employees. Okay. Bakit kaya sa employees? Obviously, guys, <coughs> sumisweldo siya doon. No? Na siya kumukuha ng <coughs> lifeline niya para sa kanyang pamilya. Okay. <coughs> now, let's trace historically, guys. Ano ba ang, ano ba ang yung, yung nature ng corporation? Dati kasi, <coughs> dati wala namang corporation. Usually, dati ang mga businesses, single proprietorship lang yan. So, tapos ang yung owner ng business, siya din yung manager. Usually, mag-isa lang siya no? in running the business. <clears throat> tapos, over time, na-develop yung corporation, yung corporation law, so that the uh, business became became a, a juridical uh, entity. Okay? Tapos, <clears throat> ano nangyari? Lumaki, lang, lumaki yung mga businesses, hindi na kaya ng owner yung ano, <clears throat> yung yung business i manage so that evolution led to the creation of what we call professional managers <coughs> so yung mga professional managers ito yung mga mga managers uh, well trained or educated in business para sila yung ano sila yung magran ng business on behalf of the ano of the owner or owners kung marami owners no so ganun lang nangyari so because of that guys Nagkaroon ng what we call, ito, problem to, no? The blank problem. Okay, ano kaya yan? Blank problem. This is a problem as regards yung mga employees <coughs> at saka yung mga, ano, at saka yung mga owners ng business. Kasi hindi na directly involved yung, ano eh, yung owner. So, siguro napakalaking company na yan. So, tapos marami na yung owners. So, ang ginawa nila, nag-hire na lang sila ng mga professional managers trained in that field. Okay? Contractualization. Uh, <clears throat> sort of related, no? Uh, Rob, uh, Job. Pero, <clears throat> it starts with the letter A. <clears throat> <clears throat> it, it, it has not, it, it does not have something to do with the, uh, whether com contractualized yung, ano, yung employment, but it's a relationship between uh, the employees and the owners. For example, <clears throat> let me give an example. <clears throat> yung mga managers, yung mga, yung CEO, yung mga chief executive officer, CIO, ang gagawin nila, <clears throat> magbibigay sila ng mga, mga malalaking bonuses para sa kanila. Kahit na hindi kumikita yung firm. O, di ba? Problem yun, di ba? Kunyari, owner ako ng firm. Tapos, <clears throat> nag-hire tayo ng mga managers. Yung mga managers, yung ginagawa, ginawa nila, nagbigay sila ng bonuses para sa kanila. Kasi sila nagpapatakbo ng company. Kahit na hindi guma, hindi nag hindi nag-earn yung company, no? So, tama ba 'yon, guys? And that's what we call an A problem. Ano kaya yung problem yung guys? <clears throat> it has something to do with the relationship between the employers, the uh, owners of the business and the employees. The employees that includes the CEO, yung mga executive officers, they are they are what? of the of the owners of the business. Ano tawag natin doon, guys? They are A tapos next letter, letter G. Yeah. Letter G. So, I guess Ano kaya siya? Okay, may guess na, guys. A problem. Yun. Thank you. Thank you, Gab. Agency problem. Yun. Okay, so that's an issue in finance, no? Yung agency problem. And that happens when the managers are not the owners. Kasi kung owner ka, tapos ikaw din yung manager, ikaw rin nag... Kanyari, isang ano lang, maliit lang na business. Walang problema sa ano eh, sa, sa agency problem. Kasi ikaw yung owner, syempre, 
hindi ka naman gagawa ng mga bagay-bagay na ikakasira ng negosyo mo. ba? Diba? So, agency problem is not existent sa ganun scenario. But when a company, because it has become so big, hires professional managers to run the company, then we have what we call an agency problem. It's very possible that the managers will do something that might destroy the organization. My example dyan, mga pagnanakaw, feel courageous, no? <clears throat> so, uh, lalo na kung mga, ang ma mahal yung mga ano, yung mga, manyari, raw materials, ang mamahal. So, konting ano lang, syempre, maa-apekto yung profitability ng, profitability ng firm. Eh, bakit ginagawa ng empleyado yun? Kasi sinasabi ng nila, eh, hindi naman kami pinapasweldo ng husto, eh. Tama lang yun, na tinatridor kami ng firm, ng company, o di gaganti lang kami. O, so, we have an agency problem there, di ba? Kasi hindi na-establish yung loyalty. Yan ang problema. Kasi din naman yung company, hindi ito natatrato ng mga bal bilang tao yung mga kompanya. Di ba? Recently, napanood nyo, guys? Sa Bulacan? <coughs> sa Bulacan, na, na, napanood nyo, guys, yung isang empleyado, yung sineldo sa kanya na 1,000 plus, ang binigay ng kumpanya, tigsisinko. Imagine, binigay siya yung sweldo, guys, cash, tigsisinko. <coughs> Tapos worth 1,000 plus. So, ah, anong tawag mo doon, guys? Wala. Sadyaan na yan, guys. Although, ibang issue yun, guys. No? It's just an example of how sometimes uh, sometimes managers <clears throat> sa bagay, iba naman to. No? Pero na nabanggit ko rin yan. Pero yung agency problem, guys, again, is a matter between employees versus the owners of the business. Okay, magkaka-agency problem tayo if the managers do not act just like agents. No? Kasi ang relationship niyan, guys, there's a, there's a term for that, guys. Nga pala, no? Ang tawag dyan, fiduciary. That's a term, no? Fiduciary. <clears throat> so, yung mga managers, guys, <clears throat> uh, they have this fiduciary relationship with, with the owners. Ibig sabihin, mga agent sila. They should act on behalf of the <clears throat> owners of the business, the shareholders. <clears throat> Okay, so that, that's a problem. So, uh, in the 80s, 90s, ang daming companies na nag-fold up, ang daming nasira, nag-bankrupt because of this problem, ito agency problem. And by the way, this brings me to uh, sa first exercise, your online exercise, you have to watch the movie on Enron no? and then you'll create a reaction paper of that. I'll give the details of this on on <clears throat> Wednesday. Pero hanapin sa internet, guys. 2005, no? Uh, who's, nakalimutan ko yung title, but it's all about Enron. You, it's a required viewing, and then you're going to to uh, submit a reaction paper of, about that. Remember yung 40% ng grade natin, online activity siya, no? And this is one of them. And there are several others. This will account for 40% of your of your grade. Okay, so agency problem. <clears throat> okay, kaya nga guys, ang ginagawa nila. Okay, what do you think is a possible solution to this? Paano, hindi ta paano kaya hindi tayo magkakaroon ng agency problem? Ano kaya ang, ang possible na ano na remedy for that? To discourage, no? To discourage company uh, the employees from doing things that are harmful to the organization, to the firm. Anyone? Guys? Can you give me an example? Okay, agency problem. Paano? Okay, may sumagot. <clears throat> okay, outsourcing. Okay, <clears throat> uh, pwede, no? Pwede rin yan. Outsourcing. Kaso, sino nag-outsource? Nag Thank you, John. No? Sino nag-outsource? Uh, yung ano, yung managers din. So, baka hindi rin ma-address ma yung ano, yung promote, ma-address yung ano, yung, uh, yung agency problem even through outsourcing. Okay, thank you, John, for that answer. Elijah, transparency. Yes, transparency is always important. Okay, but pag alam mo, pag magnanakaw, uh, kahit na may transparency, ano, talaga itatago yan. Eh, kasi yung mga acts na masama, syempre, uh, itatago yan. Hindi gagawin transparent yan. Or, pwedeng, ano eh, pwedeng mga acts na hindi naman masama, pero hindi lang maganda para sa organization kasi ang inuuna ng ano ang inuuna ng 
ng managers yung sarili nila. Okay? So, what could be one good example? In order to avoid yung agency. Sulat ko ha, tapos hanapin nyo guys kung anong ibig sabihin nito. It's called the ESOP. No? ESOP. E. Letter E to. So, this is one way by which uh, companies have tried to minimize, no? if not eliminate yung agency problem. So, ano kaya tong ESOP na to? Okay, thank you, Gab. <clears throat> thank you, Gab. It's called Employee Stock Option Plan no? or Employee Stock Ownership Plan. <clears throat> so what, what happens here? Ang gagawin dito, guys, <clears throat> employees are given the uh, chance to become shareholders. Okay, so it's, ano, it's, uh, uh, they're, <clears throat> kunyari ilang years sa sila, they're given the opportunity to buy shares of stock or the company at a discounted price. Okay? So, binibigyan sila ng chance na maging shareholders. Pag shareholders siya, guys, oh, iba na. <clears throat> Medyo magkikiiba na yung, ano niyan, yung pananaw sa, sa company. Kasi part owner na siya. Pag part owner siya, guys, yung temptation para dayain yung company o sirain yung company becomes minimized. Kasi pag nasira yung company, masisira din yung investment siya sa company. So the motivation is now to really, <clears throat> really perform well, do well, so that the company will perform well no? or do well. Kasi yung benefit niyan will be to the employees themselves, to those who are availed of the ESOP. Diba? Imagine kung binili nila yung share of stock, discounted sila. Kunyari, it's currently 50, and then it's being sold to them at 30 pesos. <clears throat> and then salary deduction pa. Tapos kung gumandag ng gumanda yung stock price, yung 50 maging 300 later on, eh di ba sino nag-benefit? Yung empleyado. No? Okay, so namimitigate yan against what we call the agency problem. Okay? So ang ganda ng pag-usapan nito guys, ano? Uh, meron pa yata tayong natitira, sino pa ba? Employees, meron tayong <coughs> shareholders, meron tayong, <coughs> meron tayong suppliers, government agencies, customers. Creditors, meron pa guys, sino pa? I, I think meron pa dalawa. Can we identify two more? Actually, ma marami pa, no? pero let's just focus on the main, main uh, stakeholders. Ito si letter C, tsaka ito si letter Z din. Sino kaya yung isang C? Any guess? Clue guys, clue. Kung saan located yung ano. Okay, competitors. Correct, no? <clears throat> Sulat natin yan. Competitors. Okay, so you think, sa tingin nyo ba guys, gusto ni Globe na bumagsak si ano? Si Smart? Sa tingin nyo, gusto nyo bumagsak si Dito? Well, yung, yung, ano nun, yung, yung isang side, uh, that can be, no? Pero hindi siguro bumagsak. Gusto, mas gusto siguro ng Globe na maungasan, no? Mas ma, ma, malampasan yung performance ni, ano, ni Globe, ni, ano, ni Smart or ni Dito. They would not really want, ano, they would not really want Smart to, ano, to, to go down. Kasi guys, yung robustness ng industry, importante yun. Kung competition always makes a firm perform good. Tandaan niya, no? According to a theory by Michael Porter, sabi niya, there are two kinds of competitors. Bad competition and good competition. Good competition will always be good kasi it makes the companies, the players in the industry to be on their toes. Talaga maghahanap at maghahanap yan ng ways to improve their products, their services. Kasi, kung may kakompetensya, madaling sabihin dun sa ano, sa ano na, ah, dito na lang ako pupunta sa ano. So there's an inherent advantage in having good competition. Okay? Good competition always brings out the best in the players of the industry. So we're not talking talking here about good bad competition. We're talking about good comp competition. And competitors in a sense, no, to a certain degree, would want their competitive the competitive firms 
to also so, to also, also succeed. Okay, siyempre, mas gusto nila mas mag-succeed sila kaysa dun sa firm. Pero they, they, they don't want the firm to to really uh, ano, <coughs> fall. Kasi pag bumagsak yung firm na yun, there's also a big probability that they'll also go down the drain with the other company. No? Okay, so I hope that's clear. And lastly one, guys, ano to? Yung, the next C is, ito yung, ano kaya to, guys? Okay, it's the, uh, pwede bang i-unmute na lang? Sinong nag-chat? Okay, thank you, Gab. Okay. You're correct, it's the community. So obvious naman, di ba guys? Obvious naman. Okay, ang community is uh, really looking at the firm. They do not want firms, guys, who, who will pollute the rivers, who will pollute the the air. Gusto nila na yung firm na yun, law-abiding, good corporate social citizens. No? Na yung, nag ang, yung pag meron silang... Uh, uh, water, uh, sewage sa water, gusto nila clean dapat yun para hindi na dudumi yung bodies of water. Kung gusto, gusto nila yung mga <coughs> yung mga particulate matters na <coughs> inalabas nun sa factory, gusto nila malinis. Dapat may <coughs> may uh, <coughs> may uh, what do you call this? May air <coughs> may air <coughs> filtration system yung company. Okay, so the community would want a good corporate, good corporate citizens, no? uh, because they also provide what? Ano ba pinu provide ng firm din sa community? And one guys, paki chat, paki ano na lang, paki sound off na lang. Ani big thing na pwede ibigay ng firm sa so jobs, yes, thank you, jobs, employment, of course, and also other services, no? like yung ibang companies sa bibigay ng free education ng, ng uh, free uh, uh, medical clinics, dental clinics, etc. Okay, so these guys are what we call the different stakeholders. Okay, ang sinasabi nila, bakit shareholder value lang? No? Hindi ba dapat ano? Hindi ba dapat ang objective to be? I'm misplacing my digital pen. Asa na yun? Where is my digital pen? Okay. So, ang sinasabi ng iba guys, it should not be shareholder value only, but it should be a more broad, more broad, obje main objective is stakeholder value maximization. Okay? Pag sinabi natin stakeholder value, <clears throat> well, that includes the other players. Sinasabi natin na customers, community, shareholders. Okay. Although yung shareholder, kasama na dun sa change shareholder value uh, maximization objective. Uh, pero ang sinasabi guys, itong stakeholder value maximization na theory, dapat ibobroaden yung ano yung main objective. <clears throat> Kaso nga lang guys, ang, ang inherent disadvantage nito, a firm might not, might have difficulty really focusing on several objectives at one time. Okay? So for us now guys, it will suffice to accept shareholder value maximization <clears throat> as the main objective of the firm. And just be cognizant of the fact that there are other stakeholders. Kaya nga, it brings us to this uh, name 3E. No? 3E or 3Ps. Ito yung triple bottom line. So ang tinitinan lang dapat na, ng isang kompanya, hindi lang dapat yung economy, yung profit. It should be also the environment or ecology and the employees. <clears throat> okay? Ito yung tinatawag na triple bottom line. Triple bottom line. Triple bottom line or three piece yan. I mean three piece. Three piece will be, economy will be profit. Okay, profit. Environment will be planet. And employees will be people. Yeah. Okay. Pro planet, profit, and people. That's the triple <coughs> bottom line. And that's a broader uh, scope. Just hindi lang profit maximization, hindi lang, ano, hindi lang shareholder value maximization. No? 
but also look at the other stakeholders of the firm. Okay, any questions so far, guys? Any questions so far about uh, about the triple bottom line? Paki chat naman, guys. Kung clear siya, kung clear so far yung discussion natin, I would appreciate a chat from you or my more questions. Okay, good. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. Yung iba, wala nang chat. Appreciate ko lang guys kung uh, yan. Thank you, ha. Ah. Thank you. I always ask this also para malaman ko kung andiyan pa kayo kasi baka wala na kayo diyan eh. <clears throat> Tapos uh, kung nakikinig kayo guys, no? Okay, so hindi <clears throat> tayo nag 100% na yes. Sana next time guys, uh, mag-go 100 tayo na yes, ha. Huh? Yeah, participate even nag-chat kayo no sa chat box natin. <clears throat> All right. So thank you so much. Okay, let's go back now to our uh, to our uh, discussion a while ago. I think sinasabi natin na triple bottom line, three P's or three E's, uh, which tells us that ang um, main objective should not only be focused on the shareholder value because there are other fa there are other forces, there are other entities that are affected by the uh, performance of the firm, dapat kasama sila. Ang only, uh, the, only the, the, the uh, problem with that, guys, is a company might have difficulty really focusing on so many objectives, main objectives. Okay, li given the limited resources, at saka paano kung may conflict? Kunyari, may conflict si supplier at saka si creditor. Minsan nagkakaroon ng ganyang conflict, no? So, sino masusunod? So, that can be problematic as far as the firm is concerned. Okay, nowadays guys, kaya nga may tinatawag tayong ESG measures. No? Sorry. Si ESG guys, takes a look at environment, social measures, and governance measures. <coughs> okay, let's quickly take a look at this guys. Pakibuksan tong rep track na to. Okay, so asa na yun? Let me just open that. Paano mas nabilis? Where's the site? <clears throat> Rep track. Okay, so <clears throat> Rep track, guys, punta muna natin sa what is it? <clears throat> if you go to this site, Rep track, it mentions something about another measure, no? <clears throat> yung reputation intelligence. <clears throat> okay, so uh, this is one way by which uh, shareholder value maximization can be obtained. It is by making sure that the reputation of the uh, firm is is really very good. No? Kaya itong company na to, RepTrack, they're, they're providing ser services of helping companies measure their intelligence. Kasi sabi nila dito, <clears throat> importante yung communication na binibigyan ng company through strategies and communication that add value to their brands. So here, ang, ang binibigyan ng attention yung yung reputation ng company through brands. Okay? So sinasabi nila, it's important that uh, rep track powers reputation intelligence that enables communications leaders to measure the effectiveness of programs over time and develop strategies around business outcomes. <coughs> so according to rep track, they help companies uh, measure <coughs> the, the, uh, the uh, reputation intelligence and then try to see how they can be effective in terms of developing strategies in uh, having their business outcomes. So yun ang ginagawa nila. Benefits? Ano ba yung benefits na to? Okay. Why reputation intelligence is the new CCO. Ano ibig sabihin guys ng CCO? Chief Communications Officer. So this is another executive officer, no? Uh, by the way, <clears throat> ang tawag natin dyan sa mga yan, yung CIO, CEO, CFO, <clears throat> sila yung mga C-suite. No? Letter C-suite. Kasi CEO, CIO, CFO, CSO, CMO, <clears throat> CKO, Chief Knowledge Officer. Okay? Sila yung mga Chief uh, Officers ng company. So we call, it, we call them the C-suite. Okay? So as customer perception, 
sorry, takes a project in determining a branch value. So what determines brand? What determines a brand? Sabi niya, a brand daw is determined by perception of customers. No? Okay. And reputation intelligence has become a must <clears throat> for leading companies. So how high is the reputation intelligence of a firm? So ito yung product na pinoprovide nitong rep trap. Sinasabi nila na they can measure the uh, reputation trap of the organization. <clears throat> so who is this for? Ito, sinasabi natin na uh, ito, no? a complex business is an increased uncertainty. So importante daw na uh, uh, the uh, communication leaders, the ones who are tasked with protecting and building up their company's brands within a climate in which they have less control. Okay, communication leaders and the C-suite, guys, ito yung C-suite yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Okay, I think it's here, wala, mamaya pa, no? Okay, so <clears throat> very important, guys, yung reputation intelligence kasi it will drive uh, the brand value which drives also the shareholder value of the firm. Okay, tinan natin, guys, no? Dati, <clears throat> ang sabi, dito sa sa plot na to, <coughs> ang sinasabi nito, noong 1975 daw, what drives reputation of the firm is tangible assets. Yung kulay blue. Okay, so that's uh, around 83% ng <clears throat> brand value, ng reputation ng firm, is driven, is driven by tangible assets. So yung mga mahahawakan na assets, yung <clears throat> machinery, equipment, land, yun daw yung pinaka- nagda-drive ng reputation. Fast forward guys, 2000, ano, 2015. Ano nangyari? 84% ng intangible assets. Ano yung intangible assets? Ito yung mga assets na hindi nahahawakan. Not tangible. Example guys, brand name. Yung brand name, it's not something that you go to Apple tapos hahawakan mo yung brand name as an asset. Hindi. Brand name is a, pers is a function of the perception of the people about how good the product is. Siyempre, kung ganun yung reputation nila, that will increase the, the, uh, the <coughs> uh, reputation intelligence of the firm and that will <coughs> increase the value of the brand which increases shareholder value. Okay? So ngayon daw, <coughs> yung value ng, uh, ng reputation ng isang firm, yung brand value niya is measured by intangible assets na. Okay, in just a matter of 40 years, no? 40 years, nabago na yung perception ng mga tao. Whereas before, it was, uh, reputation was based on 83% tangible assets. Kung meron kang malalaking factory, kung meron kang malaking ano, okay ka sa mga tao, okay yung perception mo. Ngayon hindi. Okay, kahit maliit yung company mo, <clears throat> for as long as, uh, uh, Okay no okay guys yung ano mo yung reputation mo hindi na yung tangible assets ang importante 84% na ang nag, ang driver ng reputation ng organization very interesting no? very interesting so ito din sa ko guys no? so importante to na maintindihan ng mga CCO <coughs> CMO CEO <coughs> CIO CPO CFO this C suite officers okay yan that's the name we give, C-suite. <clears throat> and then if we go, if we're going to take a look at the rankings, okay, so pinapakita dito ano ba yung, <clears throat> ano ba yung mga filter ng company na to? Number one, no? Sino yung pinakamataas na reputation? Lego, a Danish company. Okay, ang ganda guys ng ano, ng, uh, you watch videos on Lego, it's a very good company, okay, uh, in particular, it's uh, ang mission niya, yung shaping the minds of, ano, of uh, the children. Tapos, nalilink din nila sa, ano, sa, sa environmental, no? yung mga projects na. Uh, maybe it, it would be good to uh, look at uh, what LEGO does, what LEGO does as an institution that merited them the top one no? global rep reputation track. So, Rolex, Number two, Ferrari, Bosch, <clears throat> mga car parts to. No? Harley-Davidson, alam naman natin na motorcycle siya. 
There's only one brand, guys. Can you think of one brand in the whole world huh, where people are very much willing to have that brand tattooed on themselves? Uh, wala akong nakitang tao na nag, naglagay ng jolly, nag, nagtattoo ng jolly sa ano nila, sa kamay nila. Hindi yung hindi yung ano ha, hindi yung henna, yung talagang tato, guys, no? Wala akong nakita na may nagtattoo ng Ferrari o Mercedes-Benz sa mga kamay nila. Okay. Ano lang guys, anong brand lang yung ano? Anong brand lang ala, uh, alam nyo na nagpapatatuloy yung mga tao dun sa uh, ng brand na to? Anyone guys? Hi sir, Brioso po. Sino? Brioso. Um, I think um, high fashion brands like Gucci or Louis Vuitton. Mm, okay. Pero may, meron ba nagpapa, ano, nagpapa tatap sa mga shoulders sila sa mga paa sa mga kamay and they wear it really proudly iba pa nga sa mukha eh. maybe uh, maybe a few but not as much as this brand i'm thinking of a brand guys na na people really take pride in having this brand tattooed on them anyone and then guys and sa ano and sa top 10 natin sino yun hulaan nyo Sino dyan? Si Canon ba o si Sony? Hello po. Yes? I think po it's ano po, Adidas. Adidas? May nakita ka na ba ang tao nagpa, nagpa ano ng Adidas sa ano niya? Sa brad? Sa, sa braso? <laughs> Hindi siguro. Ito, ito based on facts. So guys ha? Yeah, thank you Sophia. It's Harley Davidson guys. Harley Davidson. Eh, grab, halos yung mga ano yan, yung mga talagang they really take pride in um, ano yan, gangs yan sa US o kaya talagang uh, almost like a cult, guys. No? <coughs> if you use HD, tapos meron kang ano yan, meron kang tatak yan. Mga, mga hippie-like yan, naka, ano, naka talagang ragged jeans, tapos naka ano yan, yung jacket nila, talagang minsan walang ano, walang, walang sleeves, no? Kasi gusto lang nila ipakita yung ano. <coughs> o kaya minsan dito lang sa chest nila nakalagay yung ano. Yan lang yung brand, guys, na according to studies, ha? ito yung uh, based on facts to, no? ito lang yung brand guys na tinatatak ng mga tao sa, ano nila, <clears throat> sa katawan nila. Such a following guys. Kaya nga, I'm, I'm not surprised. Number 4, number 5 siya. No? Yung reputation uh, intelligence itong Harley Davidson na to. And so there are other companies, Walt Disney, who does not know Walt Disney, Microsoft of course. No? Okay, so uh, I'll leave you guys to read more about this, yung rep track. Tingnan nyo kung how does RepTrack score it? That will be interesting kung paano nila binibigyan ng rate yung, yung mga companies. I want you now to go to another, ano. Uh, guys, i-click nyo nga sa Google. Interbrand 2021. Okay, then tingnan natin best brands, no? Open that. Yan. <clears throat> Okay, so, sorry guys, I'm going to eat Okay, so, this is another company, guys, that measures the brand value. But, uh, I've been following this, ano, ano, this interbrand, matagal na to, early 2000 pa, nagbibigay na siya ng report. No early 2000, it was uh, still Coke, no? Coke pa rin lagi number one. But now, <clears throat> if you take a look at the, ano, <clears throat> The best brands now in 2020, okay, ang number one si Apple. <clears throat> and for several years na, si Apple lagi number one. <clears throat> of course, who would not know Apple, guys? No? Na, na mention natin to sa customer satisfaction last time. No? Now, my question is, ano ibig sabihin ng 322 billion na yan? Which compared to 2019, increased by 38%. No? Ano ibig sabihin ng 322 billion na na value na yan. Any guess, guys? Net profit? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Liam. Okay. Uh, but it's not net profit. But thank you for your answer. Ingrid, thank you. It's the brand value. No? Correct. 322. Pero take note, guys, ha? hindi yan yung assets ng firm. No? Okay, this is aside from the balance sheet. Okay. So, hindi yan yung, yung value ng, ng, ng company, 
value ng ano ng ng ano ng uh, ng warehouse o ng manufacturing plant it's just the brand value itself 320 322 billion ibig sabihin uh, by the way intangible asset yan guys uh, hindi nahahawakan <clears throat> so kunyari pupunta ako sa Apple headquarters hindi ko pwedeng sabihin asa na yung brand asa na yung brand name niyo dito yung asset na brand name wala doon kasi hindi mo mahahawakan yun. No? Siguro may logo doon. Pero iba yung logo kaysa doon sa uh, brand value which is uh, a measure of the perception of people about Apple. So kung bibili mo kunyari yung pangalan na Apple, you will have to have 322 billion dollars. Okay? To buy that. Mas malaki sa part sa budget ng Pilipinas. So kung tutuusin guys, mas malaki pa yung brand value ni Apple kaysa sa budget ng ano ng Philippines. Kasi in dollars siya, guys, uh, ilan yan eh? Uh, 15, 15 trillion yan. No? Uh, hindi, hindi naman yata yung budget for next year, hindi naman yata umabot ng 15 trillion. I might be wrong. No? Nakalimutan ko yung budget ng Philippines for next year. Pero grabe guys, ha? Okay? And uh, far number two is 200 billion at Amazon. No? Okay, so let's take a look at uh, yung top 10 dito. <clears throat> si Microsoft, di ba nasa ano din siya? Nasa rep truck ba siya, guys? Natin ha. So, andi dito si <coughs> si Microsoft, andi dito. Ano? Pero si, surprisingly, guys, ito, ito kasi ano to eh? Reputation, no? Reputation. I'm surprised na mas mataas yung reputation ni Microsoft kaysa kay, kay Apple as far as rep truck is concerned, no? Okay, so, sino pa? Amazon? Siguro, alam natin... Halos lahat ng mga companies dito. Number three is Microsoft, Google, Samsung, Coca-Cola, Toyota, Mercedes, McDonald's, Disney. I'm sure all of these 10 brands, guys, alam natin. We're familiar with these 10 brands. Okay, so I'm just showing you guys na uh, itong, ano, itong profit, itong shareholder value maximization, hindi siya nalalayo dun sa, ano, dun sa, yung sa reputation ng firm at saka yung value niya, yung, yung intangible asset niya. Companies that are really able to have good reputation, a good brand will, will generally result in really good uh, loyal costs. No? And in a sense, okay, so um, my question on this Ingrid, uh, <clears throat> brand value po in, yeah, it's in, ano, it's in billions, ano, uh, Nakalagay dito, tingnan natin ha. Oh, hindi siya ano eh, hindi siya. Kasi kung 51 million lang, <coughs> now, let me clarify ha. Ang tanong ni Ingrid, is this really in, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, better be sure, no? So, siguro mababasa naman natin dito yan. Dali, ha? Ang alam ko guys, billion yan eh. Okay, sige. Anyway, uh, thank you, Ingrid, for that question. It, paki, paki, i-check na lang natin ha, kung yung mga billion, mga, and it, M kasi, no? Yeah, it's M here. <clears throat> so, 322,999 million. So, ibig sabihin nito, magdadagdag tayo dito ng, this is 999 million, tapos nadagdagan pa ng 322 billion na yung susunod. Okay. Ay, yung base na sabi mo, Ingrid? Let me check, no? Oo, yeah. Uh, so, ang tanong ni Ingrid, so billion ba to o million? Kasi guys, may M dito, ano? So, pag may M dito, kunyari 999 lang yan, ibig sabihin 999 million. Eh, eh may ano pa, may iba pang three placeholders pa tayo. So, ano ba yung susunod sa million? Billion na, no? So, that's 322 billion, 999 million. Okay? That's why I said it's in billions, no? Nakalagay M, pero... Meron tayong tatlong placeholders na nakadugtong. Okay? So, Ingrid, did that answer your question? Okay, thank you. Thank you for asking, Ingrid. I appreciate questions like this. No? Pero, Ingrid, next time, paki, ano, ha? paki uh, to everybody para makita nila. Ha? Okay, kasi ang tanong ni, ano, ni Ingrid, yung brand value ba in millions or billions? Okay? So, we were able to answer that. Thank you, Ingrid. All right. So going back, guys, going back to our discussion, okay, ESG, guys, environmental, social, 
<coughs> governance. It will be good, guys, for you to also research on this ESG measures. Dati kasi, uh, how is uh, corporate performance assessed? Ano lang, by, by means of profit lang. Ngayon, hindi na ganun, guys. Hindi na ganun yung pag-measure ng corporate performance. Okay, so we have a few more minutes. Simulan ko lang to, guys. No? What is finance? <clears throat> okay. Sabi natin, ang finance, guys, it's actually a branch of economics and it deals with resource allocation. Okay, so pag sinabi natin resource allocation, andun yung minamanage natin resources in terms of acquiring assets and managing these assets. No? So it, it's related to money. Okay? So ito, example, example ko lang to guys, no? so, which I discussed in the other section. Mother company and then SBU, SBU1, SBU2, SB3. Magbigay lang ang example. <clears throat> Kunyari guys, no? isang mother company. Kunyari sa Ayala Corporation. Si Ayala Corporation, she is responsible to determine in what industries they're going to invest in. Okay, saan ba naka-invest si Ayala? Can you give me examples guys? Anong company? Ah, sige. Medyo cool lang tayo sa oras na guys. Ano? So si Globe, no? <coughs> BPI. Uh, sa insurance. Uh, so real estate. Ang dami guys. Uh, Ang daming uh, industries na engage si Ayala. No? So, paano nila ginawa yun? Resource allocation yan. Kasi hindi naman infinite yung resource ni Ayala. So ang ginagawa nila, kasi dito tayo, mag-allocate tayo dito, mag tayo dito sa, ano, sa, sa telecommunications in the person of globe. No? Ang ibig sabihin ng SBU guys is strategic business unit. No? Strategic business unit. So there are several, ex several SBUs for uh, Ayala Corporation. Ganon din guys si JG Summit. Okay, JG Summit, John Gokong Way Summit. No? So ito yung Robina. Uh, URC, Universal Rubina, ito yung Rob, Robinson Land, <coughs> yung real estate nila, and then <coughs> they're also into banks. No? So how do they do that, guys? Finance yun. Kasi resource allocation yun, resource management. So very important yung finance. And as we said, guys, it's all about managing money. So titignan natin yung different institutions, markets, and instruments used in the transfer of money. So according to Kion, no, it's all about uh, creation of economic values, shareholder value, or creation of wealth. <clears throat> okay? And let me end in this slide because it's time yata, no? uh, So others think that corporate finance is simply an extension of accounting. Hindi, guys. Iba yung accounting, account, accounting process. Um, it's more of taking a look at how uh, to generate financial statements. No? What happened in the past? Finance is more looking forward, forward looking siya. Okay? It has, it deals with financial modeling, pero hindi lang yun, no? And others would say it's also a subsector of banking. That's a very myopic definition of finance. <clears throat> any, any decision from, of a company that involves money involves corporate finance. So whether it's marketing operations, dinis natin to last time, lahat ng functions ng business, covered ng finance yan, no? So every decision, may mga financial implications. So let me just end in this. Okay? So kahit na anong function ng business, marketing, accounting and information systems, etc. Lahat yan kailangan ng finance. Okay? So I hope you read this, guys. We'll continue with this next meeting. Pupunta na tayo dun sa principles of financial management. Okay? So any questions? <clears throat> My questions for bye guys. If none, I'll uh, stop recording.